is one of the drivers who's been almost flawless for the entirety of the race weekend so far, Miguel Costa. Miguel, two wins and a second place. It really couldn't have started much better than that so far. Yeah, so far it's been really good. The chassis and engine's been feeling amazing and we definitely have the speed to win this weekend. Now, last year was a bit of a learning year for you as you kind of came into the CIK classes. You did a great job in OK Julia last year in Champions of the Future. This year, you've come fresh out of the blocks. What's changed over the winter? Uh, we've been developing really hard working with the team as well and just learning from me every race experience has made me a better driver and learn from it and now it's time to win. <laughs> Certainly in terms of the qualifying pace that was where this weekend really started to come alive for you. Just how confident were you in qualifying that you could actually manage to be in that position? Did, did you have the speed to go alone or did you have to be in the toe? Um, I think I had the speed to, to go alone as well, but it's always nice to have a reference, especially in this track where the token mean two to three tenths. And this is one of the toughest circuits in European karting as well. It's one of the longest, 1.7 kilometers. What's it actually like to drive here at the limit in the OK Junior class? It's a very fast truck and you, and you have to run a very small sprocket since it's a very long straight and it's you have to manage the exit of the corner. So you have to quite break a little bit earlier than you should to get a good exit out of the corner. And that's where I really shine this weekend. Awesome. Now, one of the questions I've been asking a few of the drivers this weekend, we've had a slight change in the schedule for this weekend. Instead of having three OK Junior races and three OK Senior races back to back, they've been split. So it's Junior, OK, Junior, OK. How big a difference does that actually make in terms of your preparation? Because there's two different tyre manufacturers out there on the circuit putting rubber down. How big a difference does that actually make? I think it's more fair this way because since last year, or last Last race, we had three OKJs. The last group in qualifying would always be quicker due to the Vega having more grip than the MGs. So I think it's more fair this way. And it doesn't really make that big of a difference because it's mainly, it's a different track for everyone and it's quite the same for everyone. Awesome. Now, obviously, we've seen which drivers are going to be quick up at the sharp end. Uh, you're definitely going to be one of those, having already taken a couple of race victories. But tyre degradation is a really big factor here. It's going to get hotter as the day goes on, and you only have a certain number of tyres to look after until you get to the final. So how have you been coping with tyre degradation? Has it been a bit of an issue? Uh, not really for me, since I'm very smooth normally. And when I just get in the lead normally, I just try to be as smooth as possible and focus on my driving. Awesome. So uh, obviously we've got two more races for you over the course of the day that you're going to be uh, looking for. Is it going to get harder as the day goes on, as the temperature rises, or are you able to combat that? I think so for the tyres and especially physically with the heat, but uh, I think I'll be able to manage. Awesome. Good luck, and I'm sure everybody back home in Brazil is watching along, so uh, have a great race day. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good to hear from Miguel Costa. More great race action from the juniors on the way. And you can see them out there.